This is a real sign that we need to work on loading the dishwasher. Arnie bringing me Beanie Babies from the basement every day. <laughs> they end up there when they come upstairs. But this has got to stop. That dishwasher is full and running and I just had to wash all those dishes. So I think we know what to work on. And you guys, so many of you have asked me in the comments about this thing. This is, or let's say was, a Kohler Pro Cook sink. This is where the faucet went. These are the controls and this is the vessel. Now, there are pots that go in here. You could, what I did is I was able to fill it. The faucet filled the vessel with the water. I could turn on the heating element and actually cook food in this vessel. We, every night, we used it for steaming vegetables. We used it for cooking pasta. We used it for making hard boiled eggs and anything else that you can think of that went into a pot of boiling water. Now, the heating element has broken, okay? This is how you turned it on, and I, I think it's completely disconnected now, but then you could, you could raise the heat, lower the heat, you know, and then this is, see that that's how you kept the water in there for cooking. You filled it, you cooked it, and you drained it in one pot. But Kohler kind of let us down because they discontinued this guy not too long after we built our house. And there, you know, it's impossible to get parts and things like that. And it's too bad because this was really a very good, accessible kitchen vessel and appliance and do I ever wish that they would bring that back because I, I do miss this thing. These are the pots that were used. This is the lid. You would put your vegetables in this pot for steaming. Here is a pot that you would use for your pasta and your eggs and you could just lift it up and drain if you needed to do that or after it drained you would just remove this. You see? But what's happened is, and then I I could use this guy for regular cooking. I could, you know, um, use that as a double boiler when you needed to melt chocolate and things like that. It was really cool. So, um, and I miss it. I miss it very much. And now I have these big, this is a very large hole in the granite. This is a smaller hole in the granite, and this is yet another oval shaped hole in the granite and so even with this see it's raised up if you were to get like trivets or something to cover it which I thought of that you know we've thought about putting uh, cutting out a section and using it as a cutting board and doing butcher block we've thought about all kinds of things um, even trying to figure out a way to fashion a you know if we were going to do a dishwasher to fashion a draining thing over to the sink for you know hand wash dishes because you still have that I don't know this is this is just one of those things in life that you know you live and you learn but stay away from trendy appliances from now on you know and if you're going to cut holes in your countertop that's probably something you should think twice about when you're remodeling or building a home but it's a shame because it was an it was an awesome appliance so if anyone from Kohler hears this and you want to be a hero in the disability community and bring this vessel back you would you would definitely be a hero so there you have it a Kohler Pro Cook sink. So I just got our new uh, Amazon Smart Oven uh, taken down to the basement into our uh, area that the kids are going to have, the kids' kitchen, basically. And uh, we want to thank Amazon Alexa Accessibility for sponsoring this video, but as I set up the vid or set up the um, smart oven I plugged it in and uh, this showed up on my uh, up on my phone so how cool is that I plugged in the oven and here it is in its new location 
Set up, connect to Alexa app. Ready to set up. So that is so cool. So okay, Hannah, you want me? You want to help me set up the uh, the new oven? Sure. Okay, it's my phone though, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you want to turn it? Do it. Turn it on. Okay. Hey. Turn on voiceover. Okay, I turned on voiceover. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the Alexa app. So let's uh, just do continue. All right, it says connect your Amazon oven to Alexa. Locate the 2D barcode on your oven. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Let's scan the barcode. Connecting it to our network. It's connected. It's connected. Hold the time from the internet. Cool. Wow. First oven is set up and ready to use. Cool. That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. We have to connect it to an Alexa device. Oh. So we're gonna put a we're gonna put an Echo Show down here because our Echo Dot is down here now, and we want to um, put our show down here so we can do the show and tell features and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, bad. You want to hear Alexa sing? Stop. Found by another. Alexa, stop. Alexa, sing row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your boat. Heavens, all that rowing made me tired and I can't go on. <clears throat> you can sing the rest. <laughs> Alexa, sing Mary Had a Little Lamb. I don't know that one. But ask me to sing a song, and I'll build one up from my repertoire. <laughs> Alexa, sing a song. I've been thinking a lot about what makes people happy. I guess she can sing. I've made a list, spent time asking why. <laughs> you like that, old man? Here's a couple of kinds of Mary. You're glad when mine's the only. He loves sky. it. She Thank had you. Mary in the title and the words. She did. <laughs> you like that, old bash? <laughs> <laughs> Alexa can sing. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> she sings good. <laughs> she does. Yay. Alexa, how are you today? November. I'm feeling thankful. <laughs> That's very nice. Alexa, tell us a joke. Why did the chef go to Las Vegas? They wanted to whisk it all. <laughs> <laughs> she fits right in. She fits right in, doesn't she? Yeah. What do you think, Bethany? Yeah. Tell her to sing Obed a song. Sing a song. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. I've been thinking a lot about what makes me feel happy. The little mm -hmm. things that happen day to mm -hmm. day. It's a forecast full of sun or a recipe mm -hmm. for fun. The daily news or playing songs that put you in a groove. I just want Alexa make lists and make reminders, right? Yeah. It's pretty cool. You mm -hmm. like that. I wish we could record the first part.
Do you need a Do you need a fire extinguisher? Is everything okay down here? No, it's not. That was a lot of. Oh my gosh, honey, that smells bad. What the heck is going on? Okay, so we were we were practicing with our new Amazon Smart Oven, and from upstairs. We were testing out some things, and we wanted to test out the grilled cheese sandwiches. And it said to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Oh, my God. So we asked you-know-who to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. And I thought that it said, you know, push start when you're ready or something like that. But apparently it decided to go ahead and preheat to 400 degrees because when the kids ran up here, ran up Hannah, what happened, what happened sweetie? Honey? So dad left the oven unattended. Oh my gosh. So, okay. And it scared the storms out of me. And it should have. Okay, calm down. So it smells like burning down here. So I'm glad we're not having to do a video entitled, Alexa burned my house down. No! That would be really bad, right? Yeah. yeah. So but Hannah, you did the right but thing. No worries. Honey. What happened? So Bethany, you came in. and I shaved my phone in here and I, I, was, I smelled something and I said, Hannah, could you please come in here for a minute and see if you smell, if you smell anything? And well, okay. Keep going. And then I said, she said, and then she came in here and she's like, I know what you mean. And then she, I was like, go get mom and dad. And so, so, so Hannah ran upstairs to get us and told us that. Well, Hannah has the louder mouth for sure. <laughs> and she told us. No that offense, that. Hannah. That's actually a good thing. Uh, Thank you. Go ahead, Bethany. The oven was just preheating per the instructions that we gave her, okay? And it had preheated to 382 degrees when I came down here. And it's the first time it's ever been on. But you had so, packaging still on top, honey. No, I didn't have packaging, but it, it is just normal, you know, thing, and we shouldn't have left it. You like time. that, <laughs> you like that dad's, dad's getting into trouble voice, Hannah, Bethany? So we're learning all kinds of stuff this week. It's all about independence, right? I Burning mean, the is house is a part of it. Well, no. let's not go there. Let's not go there, Hannah. <laughs> Get the fire alarm to go off. Anything else, Hannah? And uh, and scaring me half to death. <laughs> Anything else? That's about all. You forgot sirens and fire trucks ah! and water. Nine one one. It's too easy. Lessons in independence. It's, it's I know. too easy sometimes. I know. I know. Don't get the fire trucks over here, please. Because then what would happen? I would get scared out of my wit. They would make a mess too, right? Because they bring big hoses and sop Ooh. the place down. But you want the firemen to come if you have a, a real fire. Yeah, but know you know that. what, Hannah? We have fire extinguishers too. What we'll have to do now is um, we'll have to have an extra one put downstairs. Oh, no. Yeah. Now, because we, yeah, we we don't we have, have one any in the garage, we can pull it and put it up here. In the, and I have one in the kitchen <laughs> and the sink, car. Yeah, we normally don't use this kitchen, so now the kids right. are going to use it. So right, and we'll have an oven down here, so we'll need one. But at first, we're going to be under supervision, right? Yeah, we're, we're not going to be afraid of it. We're, we're going to use learn it. Our Alexa skills and our Amazon oven skills under supervision okay. to get started. <gasps> See. What is she saying over there? Um, I don't know. What? He has a mind of his own. <laughs> we said you have a mind of your own. Dog or children, or you can ask for more options. Alexa, do you have a mind of your own? Mind of your own. Here are a few popular ones. Do you want to try A Cat's Life? It's no! rated 4.0 stars by 100 people. Or you can ask for more options. I have one called Unicorn's Rock that is rated 4.1 stars by over 500 people. Would you like to try it? No! How about the Dark Citadel? Oh, it's a Well. You tell it, Hannah. I yelled at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I yelled at the thing. Oh. And yet, 
Yes. And they wonder yes. this was going to be so much fun. They wonder why it takes us so long to get a video out. I know. I <laughs> and know. why we why we can't go live. Why we don't do live streams. <laughs> and why we have to edit so much. That's pretty funny. <laughs> we yeah, probably should that. we probably should do an entire vlog with no edits. Oh, that, uh -oh. Would, that would not be good. I don't think <laughs> that wouldn't be good. It might be pretty hilarious. Oops. What do you think, Hannah, if we didn't have any edits? Well, I think everything will go wacko. And, and it would be bloopers? Yeah. Blooper city. Oh, we've got bloopers. Oh, we've got bloopers. But yeah. this is going to be our lunchroom. We've got part of our um, homeschool plan, if you want to call it that, is that we're going to be doing the kids' lunches down here, and they're going to be preparing them themselves. Right, girls? Yes. And so we're in the process of getting that all set up. Yeah. We got you guys some dishes and we're, you know, we're, we're redoing things. Like we got this nice oven here um, that's still hot, by the way. The oh, Amazon was... Reheated to 400 degrees. My goodness. The Amazon was nice enough to send us to do this video. Yeah. And we we're have, very we thankful. We have a real overlay we're going to put on there as well. Oh, so. that'll be interesting. Yeah. But we're going to, we're going to incorporate, um, you know, independent skill training and cooking yeah. and we have a dishwasher down here we have everything except really a stove but we don't really need that when we've got no. you know this guy right here that's ah. just, and that's so. the smart oven that's got the uh, air fryer and the microwave and the convection and everything when it comes and it's all in one accessible accessibility enabled through uh, through the alexa accessibility suite so we're really looking forward to doing that and getting that up and running when we do lunch, leave it to the culinary expert here, me. Are you the culinary expert, Hannah? Well, almost. I'm, almost. You're getting there. I, I'm still in training over at my work site. Yeah, we know. Yeah. You guys do just fine. We're going to have some fun, right? Yeah. Okay, but we're going to also learn how to do dishes <laughs> and clean up. We might need a sign that says, clean up after yourselves because your mother doesn't live here. But, oh, yeah, your mother does live here. Hey! So, you know, what are you going to do about that? Yeah. But you guys are going to have to learn some of these housekeeping skills, too, because I'm really over it. Over having to do everyone's exactly. dishes. We can, all I don't time. do any cleaning. We can have a sink bay in this part of the house. You do, though. Like you do outside sink. stuff. A soapy water sink, a spray sink, and a sanitizer sink. We have one sink, and you're going to have to learn how to be adapted to the one sink. Oh. Most households have one sink, or sometimes they have two sinks, one sink divided. But down here, we only have one nice deep sink, which is sufficient, and we have a, um, a garbage disposal attached to it, so there's no, there's no reason to need more than one sink. We also have a dishwasher. So you guys will probably just be rinsing off your dishes and putting them in the dishwasher. Waiting till it's full and then running it, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. Onward. Cool. Speaking Onward. of which, I have an oven upstairs oh. preheating. Oh yeah. Because I That's decided I got hungry. Alexa made me hungry and I went up there and made those grilled cheese sandwiches for you guys. All right, oh. let's go. Hopefully they're not burnt. Wow. They're, well, upstairs. I haven't started yet. I haven't put them in yet. We're, we're, we're having lunch. Yeah, I made those those sandwiches sounded really good and it's a warm it's a cold rainy day yeah. and I thought it would be really nice to make those grilled cheese sandwiches. Okay. That Alexa suggested. And of course David showed up once again just for food. Mm -hmm. Am I right, David? Yeah, these are so good, these grilled cheese sandwiches. Yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. We had them the other night and I kinda of burned them on the on the uh, skillet. Mm. But these in the oven turned out a little bit yeah, and they're crispy but not burnt. Yummier, yes. Mm -hmm. Like that, Abby? Yeah. Yummy? Yeah. You guys can have some fruit with that if you want. Okay. They're good. Yep. With tomatoes? Yep. yep. Some of you have tomatoes and some of you have them plain. We have tomatoes, right, Bethany? Yep. And oregano on there? Mm -hmm. You like those grilled cheese with tomato? Yep. Hannah's is plain. Everybody's happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yummy, oh, yummy. bless you. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii. Every day.